So when is the best time to travel? Hmm. I don't want to be stuck in a snowstorm. Oh. And I don't want to get a heat stroke. Oh my god. And I don't want to be stuck in a rain either. Oh, what do I do? This is one common thing that all travelers will face in all of their travel lifetime. It's always one or another. But we will give you some ideas and some tips of when exactly would be the best time for you to go traveling. Are you thinking of just exploring? Can't stand heat? Get cold too easily? And you don't like rain? Well, here is the solution. The best time for you to visit countries like Norway, Canada, Scandinavia, UK, you know, Europe in general, is springtime. This is when the temperatures are mildest and you get to see beautiful flowers blooming everywhere you go. And there's not much wind and rain around that season, so you get the perfect temperature and weather for exploring. And also, you don't have to fight with everybody to get cheaper flights, cheaper accommodation, and just to explore in general. If you go in the springtime, it's still a low tour season. You can get everything so much cheaper than the peak time. In terms of tropical countries, it's better to go around winter. December and January are the mildest temperatures, not too hot, there's not much rain or storm. It's perfect for exploring in the city, and you can probably go to beaches without getting sunburns. And because during June and July is actually the stormy season, you won't get much chance to explore the islands. There's a high chance of your boats, your tour, getting cancelled last minute because of the storm. Unfortunately, this time of the year is one of the peak tourist seasons for tropical countries. If you want to go cheap, I would recommend going around beginning of December all the way to mid-December or mid-January all the way to the end of January. If you want to go for winter holidays, this is all for the ski, snowboard and ice skating lovers. We don't recommend traveling around the peak time unless you are okay with spending so much money on flights, accommodation, practically everything and fight the crowds of people in order to ski, skate and snowboard. So I recommend that the best time of the year to go is the beginning of winter or near the end of winter, which happens to be about first or second week of December and then about two weeks before winter ends in that particular country. It shouldn't be a big problem because snow is starting, you'll have a lovely time without the storm crashing in and then you're stuck not being able to go anywhere and you'll end up paying about a quarter less than everybody else. In terms of summer holiday, you like heat, you love the sun, you love them so much that you are willing to sunbathe in a melting temperature. If you're planning to go to Southeast Asia or tropical countries in general, the best time for you would be in mid-March all the way to late April. If you go to Southeast Asia, April is the hottest time of the year. And if you go to Thailand around that time, you might end up running into a Songkran festival. They get to splash water at each other, don't worry, it's not anything weird. People do that because the hottest time of the year. It's so hot that people have to splash water at each other to cool their body temperature down. And many other countries like UK, Canada, US. Except the areas where it's hot all year. The peak time to go for summer is in June or July. However, it's better to go about May. This is when the temperature is getting a bit warmer because it's already gone through a spring season. And it's not the peakest tourist time as well. This again is for the same reason. You will save a lot of money. You'll get really good accommodation for actually really, really cheap. And you won't have to fight over people to find exactly that spot you want to take photos of. Just imagine Istanbul around June. You just literally have to shove people around in order to get anywhere. Let, let's have a relaxing time, shall we? Because you spend quite a lot of time saving up just to go on that trip of yours. Thank you everybody for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video if you think it's quite helpful, and comment. Tell us when do you think is the best time of the year to go travel. And finally, as usual, visit compareholidaymoney.com to find the best tips and the best exchange rates ever. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.